And so today's video is going to be my 2013 beauty favourite. So I've got a selection of products which I've loved throughout 2013 and I'm just going to show them with you. Simple as that really. So to start off with I'm going to start with my moisturiser of choice and that is the Nivea Express Hydration Primer in dry sensitive skin. I use it more as a moisturiser than a primer. I really like how it feels on your face. Once it sinks into your skin it feels instantly moisturised and I've just been loving it from the morning. I do like it as a moisturiser and I always love Nivea. Nivea is a winner. The primer. This is a very new buy for me. I only bought it very very recently towards the end of 2013 so my blood pore still hasn't gone up yet so look out for that one coming. It's a L'Oreal Studio Secrets Professional Smoothing Resurfacing Primer. That's a mouthful and you only get a really little tiny pot but for the amount that you use it is such a good primer. It makes your skin feel super super soft. Any makeup that you apply after this just glides on so much more easier. I just love it. I can't believe I've waited so long to try this and I've never even noticed it on the shelf before until one day back in about November and since November I've used it more or less all the time and it's just really really good. So yeah I've been loving this. I think 2013 for me was the year of NERS Sheer Glow. The colour I have is Santa Fe. It is an amazing foundation. I'm wearing it now. And it's great medium coverage. I just really like how it makes your skin glow and look so much more healthy. And it's just great. For concealers, I've been loving two. Now, Obviously I think everyone will have this one in their videos and that is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Now I prefer this for on blemishes than to under eyes but it's just a good all rounder. It's a real full coverage concealer, it's a general all rounder, I prefer it for my blemishes than under eyes but I don't think I could live without it. It's so cheap and such good quality for the amount you pay it's just incredible I couldn't live without one of these and the one I love for under my eyes is the Rimmel Wake Me Up I've just bought a new tube of this I just really really like it for under my eyes it, it makes my eyes feel more awake look less tired and I just think it's the perfect concealer for under your eyes a little eye brightener is something I've been loving it's the Burr Minerals Stroke of Light. I don't know what it is really. It's not a concealer as such. It's something which I put my concealer on and then I just dab over the top and rub it in. And I just really like how it, it brightens my eyes. It does what it says. For powder, I've been loving, obviously, Rimmel Stay Matte. In translucent, it makes my makeup stay put. It doesn't feel cakey or anything like that and it's just a good all round translucent powder really can't beat it for bronzer obviously there's only one winner and that is Nose Laguna it isn't too dark for skin tone or anything like that and it's just kind of perfect really I think it quite easily adapts to a skin colour because sometimes when you go on holiday and you come back you think oh no it doesn't match this still matches skin colour when you've fake tanned when you've been on holiday it just matches I don't know how but it does it's like some sort of magic powder for sort of contouring highlighting generally a good all rounder is the sleek face form kit I have the light version and it kind of looks like this. You get a blush, a highlighter and um, a contour. And it's just great really. I really like the highlighter and the contour. The blush, 
it's kind of nice but it's a bit shimmery so kind of gets a bit much with the highlight too so I don't know although for contouring it is amazing you get a lot of product in and you just it's just a good all rounder for contouring and highlighting although I've not found the perfect brush to use it with yet so I think that's my next job to find a brush to perfectly contour with for mascara I have a few which I couldn't not mention the first one is one I use more or less every day and that is the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes I really really like this it separates my lashes perfectly and really like the effect it gives it gives them so much volume and spreads them out so far the benefit they're real is just crazy it's like you wear false lashes when you're not I love the fact that it has like a little ball on the end so you can like get into your lashes next on my list is to buy the full version of this because this is quite hard to use and I also love the Maybelline the Rocket Volume Mascara now this is kind of like a bit of a dupe for the the real it has the same kind of plasticky applicator and it just spreads all your lashes out quite good and gives them really good volume so my mascaras as this year has consisted of a bit of a ip dip do between all these three and i couldn't really pick a winner so i shared it out for eyeshadows obviously the naked palette it is the most loved palette ever it's just a great palette for creating natural daytime looks you can easily transform into nighttime looks could not include that in my 2013 beauty favorites another eyeshadow duo which I absolutely love to death is the Estee Lauder Raisins Duo it is such good colours for autumn winter months I've loved them to death and they're just amazing I have a blog post written on these so I will link it below for you and it's just in this gorgeous gold packet so how can you complain about that another thing which I love and I've used throughout the year is my Lush lip scrub in bubblegum now I suffer from really dry lips so it gets quite to, it gets to the point where I'm quite fed up of it and absolutely nothing works so this kind of helps me out and it tastes amazing too smells amazing and it's just great I love it so I couldn't not include it when I use it virtually every day last thing obviously I have is lipsticks obviously the Kate Moss 107 has been a keen favourite of mine in 2013 I'm wearing it now and I think I will continue to love it I just love the colour it's amazing for a bit more of a neutral colour I love MAC Cream Cup I, lo I love matte cream cup I just can't get enough of it from the daytime and 107 is just the perfect red and that's it that is my 2013 beauty favourites I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and click the subscribe button and see you soon